It's time for business news with Richard Southern. It's been a turbulent 18 months for the grocery industry, and there could be more choppy waters ahead, Richard. Yeah, uh, and with um, Thanksgiving looming, no less, one of the big food-related holidays of the year, Erica, we might see a strike at a big popular grocery store chain uh, right as we approach Thanksgiving. This is Food Basics we're talking about here. Unionized employees at this chain, some of them threatening to strike. Unifor, local 414, represents more than 1,400 workers at 20 Southern Ontario Food Basic stores. They set a strike deadline of September 29th. Negotiations with the company are set to resume uh, two days earlier. So we'll see how that shakes out. We'll keep you posted. Meantime, some more uh, grocery store woes, uh, this time involving Sobeys. They're actually closing and rebranding some stores uh, across the city. Shoppers uh, on uh, St. Clair West, uh, some of them none too happy about this. A Sobe store set to close at 840 DuPont. It was a 24-hour one, and a sign on the, the windows is coming. Customers will have to go about 40 minutes away to get to the next Sobeys. Uh, meantime, Sobeys parent company, Empire, tells me they're closing down a, a Sobeys store near Young and St. Clair. They'll rebrand it as uh, a farm boy, and we're seeing a lot of that. Sobeys, their parent company, Erica, owns farm boy, so they're shutting some of their Sobeys down, rebranding them as farm boy. So lot to keep an eye on when it comes to grocery shopping right now. All right, and you can say farewell to the Canadian tuxedo. A new clothing company is now in charge of outfitting our <laughs> Olympic athletes. I'll put this Lululemon is going to do all the Olympic uh, uh, outfits, Erica. All right. I'm Appropriate into Appropriate enough. Yeah. Canadian yoga wear retailer, right? <laughs> yeah, that was the big announcement today. They're going to outfit Canadian athletes right through the 2028 Olympic Games, and this is going to start uh, right away for the next Olympics, which are coming up just in February, the Winter Games in Beijing, and Lulu is going to show off the new outfits for that next month, so we're really going to get a quick look at this. They're going to replace Hudson's Bay, which has outfitted Canadian Olympic athletes for a long time. You made reference to that Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> right. That jacket that was so divisive. So many people were, uh, you know, either for or against that jacket. I liked it. I think you, I don't know, how did you feel about that one? I, 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 I was, I'm no expert on fashion, but I wasn't too crazy mm. about the denim look. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, as it turns out now, Hudson Bay's last Olympic outfit, the Canadian tuxedo, Erica. <laughs> well, they made their mark. That's for sure. They sure did. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, many people don't understand how cryptocurrency works, but apparently it's so easy that a hamster could do it. I need to speak to this hamster and meet it. Uh, can you explain this one, Richard, please? A uh, hamster is going to take over Erica's portfolio. <laughs> please. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Make her some I money. Am. Yeah. Hey, uh, he's doing pretty good. This is a thing. His name is Mr. Gox, and he's been trading cryptocurrency. This is a little cage. Look, he has a little trading desk, Eric, right there. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> so here's what happens. He gets in his wheel, and there's 30 different cryptocurrency names on the wheel. So wherever his wheel stops, that's the, the cryptocurrency in question. He has, two, he has two tubes there now. There he is on his wheel. But he has two tubes. One is the buy wheel. If he goes through the buy wheel, they buy 20 bucks of whatever uh, crypto he was on. If he goes through the other one, he liquidates his entire position. Anyways, would you believe this guy, his portfolio is up 30% over the past couple wow. of months. He's, he's, beating, he's beating the experts like Warren Buffett. He's so oh good, this little goodness. guy. Here. Okay, he's probably worth a lot of money right now. <laughs> that guy to enlist his services, yes. <laughs> Knows what he's doing. Yes.